107.5 WBLS. Welcome inside the calm before the storm. Uh, just a couple of minutes away from the quiet storm. I already lit my candles, but something tells me on this Thursday evening, the quiet storm is going to be a little bit unusual and respectfully so. Uh, I have <laughs> the young lady who you have seen and enjoyed in so many movies. Let me just kind of give you a little brief idea of some of the things that you've seen her in so far. You've seen her in, if we go way, way back. Uh, so I married an axe murderer. You saw her in The Rock. You saw her in Never Die Alone in 2004. You saw her in American Hustle. You saw her in Spring Breakdown. You saw her in, we're talking films, right? Films. You saw her in 35 and Ticking. You saw her in Think Like a Man, Steve Harvey, shout out. Uh, you saw her in That's My Boy, Come On Man, Taken 2, Taken 2. You, you saw her in Hotel Transylvania. We have the beautiful lady from Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> With a population of 35 people. And 384. Oh, 308. Her name is Lunell. Lunell. Hey. Uh, Google the name if you are uncertain. It's L-U-E-N-E-L-L. Alan, right? baby. That's right, baby. I got you. It is a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to be seen. She, she, she is smelling so good. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you even have to say that for yourself, don't you? <laughs> well, you know, I think as a grown woman, we know the importance of aromatherapy. You know what I'm saying? It's quite I essential. like to leave a room with a scent lingering in the room. That way you're still thinking about me when I'm gone. And you know what? With the fragrance that she is wearing tonight, it's not very hard to do that, baby. Well, I'm so happy that you uh, squeezed me into your schedule tonight. Something tells me. I will always make time to squeeze you Woo! in, honey. You know what? Watch out. <laughs> I'm going to start massaging you right now. All Please right? do. <laughs> oh, audience, if you could only see what's going on in And studio. you know, you can see us. Go to WBLS.com and click on the Quiet Storm page, and you'll see us all in living color. As yeah, fact, that's right. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk uh, offline, uh, off air, but online. Okay, great. So we're going to do that, and we'll t come back and chop it up with you. Let's chop it up. find out what you're doing, okay? Absolutely. You ready for me tonight? I absolutely. Do you think you can really handle me? No. Unequivocally. <laughs> that's, can a handle it. that's a collegiate word. Okay, baby. I got yeah, you. Yeah, you got to use your tongue in that one. Linnell. Huh? <laughs> Inside the quiet storm. 107.5 <laughs> WBLS. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, that was <laughs> <mercy. laughs> oh, <laughs> Set yourself okay. up, man. We're, we're going to continue. We're online. We're online. We're online. For those of you who clicked online I already. Like I don't know what in the hell. Okay, don't we, worry. We, stay out of women's we, business and women we, stay we, out of man's business. I think, I think you're right. Uh, we're doing two things tonight. We're going to do on air. We're going to do online. Whatever I, you I don't say. Know, I don't know how often you do However online. However you want to do it. That's the way I give it to you, baby. <laughs> you know what? This is going to be quite unusual for me tonight. Keep that bottle uh, I'm Lenny Green, and this is uh, the Thursday night edition of The Quiet Storm, oh. which is always unpredictable. Lunell uh, is joining us tonight. I am. And I thank you for joining me. If you'd like to talk with us up close and personal, you can at 212-545-1075. 212-545-1075. Uh, she keeps passing her phone. <laughs> Uh, back to my assistant, Listen, Sierra. Sharing is caring. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're sharing, but y'all doing a lot of laughing and a lot of comparison. And like, ooh, Just ooh. some nature photographs. Nature? Yes, nature. Natural. <laughs> okay. All natural. All natural. <laughs> some nature, natural photographs. So how are you, Ms. Lunell? I've been told I'm fantastic. Do you believe that you are? I, I believe that I get more fantastic when I come to New York. Well... And this I is the really first do. time. This is my element. And this is the first time you come into me. Well, I'll come more than once <laughs> if you help me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You know, as long as you're coming, I might as well assist in any yes, possible way. Yes, Lord, no. please assist. I don't. <laughs> I don't mind. Let me just slip this underneath my clothes. So you need can... any help with that? I, I don't want to put you under any. Uh, you know. Duress. <laughs> Duress, exactly. Uh, you love the ball. I'll serve it. We don't okay. have EMS uh, on the premises, so. I know CPR. Do you really? I do. How long have you been studying it? Pass out and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you back 
to life. <laughs> Do you? Uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Um, professionally, <clears throat> uh, this is my twenty-third year. Congratulations! Actually. Mm-hmm. Has it? You come now. You're the youngest of uh, eight. Eight. I have seven siblings. Yes. Jesus. So you almost had to find a, a way of survival in that situation. How many? How many sisters and brothers? Four boys, four girls. Wow. And and how was it growing up in Arkansas that you say is as small as a dot? I didn't really grow up there. I actually escaped on the <laughs> Underground Railroad oh, with at a very, very, very early age. With Sister Harriet. Okay. With Sister Harriet and the gang. Yeah, I, I, I actually uh, moved to California when I was two months old because of a family tragedy. Mm. And um, I only ever went back to Arkansas for... Family reunions in the summertime. I never went to school there or anything like that. So for part of my upbringing, I felt like an outcast because I was raised as an only child in California. I would come back to see my brothers and sisters who were struggling in Arkansas, you know, with a suitcase full of matching new clothes, and they didn't have all that. They had a hand-me-down. So for many years, we had a lot of resentment. They had a lot of resentment toward me. But I'm happy to say that in our older years, we put all that aside and we're actually getting along very well now. Well, that's good to know. Uh, but when did you discover your your gift of a comedy? You know, that's a really tricky question. I, I don't, I do remember not consciously trying to be funny or being funny. I was actually the father who raised me, not my birth father, the father who raised me was actually an alcoholic, very abusive, mm. and I used to be very quiet and, you know, nervous and stuff like that. <clears throat> but then I know that, you know, I got pushed around a lot and sort of bullied in my house a lot. Later, when I started to speak up and speak out and get a voice for myself, I noticed that I felt better. I felt better being able to speak. It was like therapy. For it me. was. And then somewhere along the line... In school, I got funny. My brothers and sisters are funny. My family is funny. But we're, you know, crappy funny, you know, like insultingly funny. You know, like how you you. say things that, you know, you wouldn't say outside (laughs) of the black household. You know, other people would think it was abusive or cruel, the things that we say to each other. But it's really just very funny. It's terms of the Because we have a very cutting edge. As a black black society, we we have a very cutting edge (laughs) humor. So I... Just, I don't know when it really happened, but I do, you know, have class clown, you know, trophies and, you know, most outstanding this and that. And then it just sort of, you know, when I started actually doing comedy was before any of the comedy boom, as it were. It was really in the 80s. It was before Comic View or a Def Jam or... There was no such thing as people having a $50,000 payday. When I started doing comedy, you'd be lucky if you get two drinks and a chicken dinner. <laughs> you know, Damn. and this was before, you know, Comic View, like I said. Then in the in the emergence of Comic View, um, you know, when people started to get on television, that's when the landscape sort of changed. The very first time I ever went on stage to do comedy, I didn't really have a routine, but I did have some stories that I knew I could tell mm-hmm. that were funny because the great comics, and I don't strive to be a comedian, I strive to be a great one. I think that I am. There's a difference. There is. The great comics, they don't tell jokes, they tell stories. You know? It's true. Richard Pryor, you can't mention, you can't think of a joke he ever told, but you can, t- the story the of Bud the yeah. story of Miss Rudolph, you know those stories. Yeah. Bill Cosby tells stories. Lenny Bruce tells stories, not jokes. And I knew I had a couple of stories I thought were funny. And so um, my roommate, when I was in Long Beach, California, living, she was dating a, well, she was dating, you could call it dating. She was a call girl. <laughs> and her regular <laughs> was a, a comedian. And he used to come to, we had like a penthouse, he used to come to our, our, our place of residence all the time. They actually did start dating off the off the grid. And so he ran a comedy club. He said, you know, if you ever want to do stand-up, you can come to my club and and I'll put you up whenever you show up. I was like, you know, okay, whatever. But one night, sitting around having cocktails, me and my girls, I was like, let's go down this thing. I I think I got some stuff in my head that I want to talk about. And the very first time I went on stage, the late, great Robin Harris was in the club and Ronaldo Ray. 
Wow. And so Robin Harris came up to me after I got down. He was like, you know, you're a funny little, uh, you know, so-and-so. <laughs> and uh, you can come on this uh, club where I'm, where I'm at. And he was hosting his club in L.A. Uh, called the Comedy Act Theater at the time. And it was very, very popular. Young D.L. Hughley's and young, you know, oh, yeah. uh, everybody used to go through there. And I went down there and, you know, met people. And it's sort of like the ball started rolling like that. Well, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And obviously you were destined to do what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And, and I, would, I would assume, because you do it so eloquently and you do it so effortlessly, I would assume that you, uh, you this is your passion. This is your love. This is it is. Um, you know, I just th I think that comedians... Minds are wired differently than the average person because a comedian's mind is a little ahead of the thought process. Like we, as you're talking to us, we already know what we're going to say back to you before you finished <laughs> saying what you're saying to us. And she did that you know trick what I mean? on me. Yeah, did I did the old Jedi mind trick to you. <laughs> you know what? And I, I bought into it. <laughs> For some reason, I just bought into it. Well, but, but it's good. You know, that's, it's good. That's the trick. So, you know, um, I I think that it, I, if you find out what you're good at and do that and see can you get paid to do that, then you never work a day in your life. If you like to write on the wall, if you're a kid and you're always writing on the wall, who's to say you won't grow up to be a great artist or graffiti artist, you know? It's true. If it's you true. like to tinker with taking cars apart and stuff like that and driving fast, who's to say you won't be a great race car driver? Just find out, you know, if you run off at the mouth and you talk a lot, <laughs> then, you know, see if there's a job you can do talking. Doesn't mean that everybody can do comedy. That's one thing that pisses me off. People think that, oh, I can be a comedian. Being a comedian is not just, you know, making people at the barbecue laugh. Being a comedian means, you know, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, make these room full of 110, you know, mm -hmm. Jewish mm -hmm. Americans mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. laugh that have never seen you before, and that's what we're paying you for. It okay, has go. nothing to do with a uh, person's uh, no, ethnic background. it doesn't have anything to do with anything. If you're a comedian, you have to be able to do it to anybody and everybody, and I think I can do that. And you're off the top. You, yeah, pretty you, much. None yeah. of my shows are the same. I exactly. can imagine. You know, there's certain staple things that I'll do in every show, like, you know, Smokey Robinson is going to sing his hits. Yes, he is. But he's not going to sing the same way all the time. So why hasn't Lunell uh, done a one-woman DVD show? Well, I actually have two DVDs. Uh, one is on um, iTunes right now. Uh, bold, brash, and brazen, or something like that. <laughs> and I have one on LOL, Laugh Out Loud comedy series, I think um, on the internet somewhere, comedycentral.com, something like that. But as far as like doing um, HBO special, Showtime special, they used to really catapult a person. You do a, a Showtime special or HBO special, then it come on, and the next day you're like, the talk of the town, you would think. I just don't see them doing anything for anybody right now. So I don't feel like I should be, put myself under that pressure of doing that tap dance. I feel you. You know, for no reason. You know, um, I'd rather just work, keep working towards getting my own show, whatever that show may be. I'm, I've already, you know, shot a couple of pilots. They didn't go. I have shot a couple of reality things. They didn't really pan out either. It's... It's it's a trip because everybody is rooting for me, the, my fans and my friends and, you know, pulling for me. And everybody knows I'm a million dollars walking around. It's just what is the right vehicle and who's the right person who's going to say yes instead of no. It's all about time. They're very, very fearful of me in the business, very, very much so. Why is that, though? I think because I'm the last of the gangster chicks <laughs> coming down the pike. You know, I don't. I've been in the business long enough to I know a bad deal when I see one. I'm not so thirsty that I'm just jumping up trying to take anything that they throw in front of me. I have, you know, triple careers. I do film, television, and stand-up. And so they have to be able to come at me with something proper, you know. And if it's not proper, then I'm not going to accept it. And then I need, you know, a certain amount of control that a lot of people don't want to give me out the gate, you know. Um, I do need a little bit of creative control, and I don't want anybody watering down my brand, you know, or trying to make me into something that I'm not. I'm not going to tap dance or do the skillet and Leroy, or, you know. <laughs> that thing. wouldn't be you. I'm not going to do that. I don't so, I don't and I also, I want to 
keep it sexy. I want to make, you know, older women and thick girls don't have to be somebody's mama, somebody auntie, somebody granny, somebody cook, somebody maid. You know, I'm a hot milf. The guys <laughs> that are out here hollering at me are, you know, 16, 20 years younger than me. 16, I mean, 20, and, really? Yeah, I'm, that... I'm letting you in because I like you, boo. Oh, me? You're not in my normal demographic. What? No. Stop But lying. I like you. You like me. I like you. You know, she came into the studio and she said, Oh, this is like all the Quiet Storm Studios. I'm like, I'm different. So now now you're making me feel like, you know, I'm wanted. You are different. I am, huh? Mm-hmm. What makes me different? Well, I like that sexy radio voice that you have. That's that's a definite turn on. Is it really? Yeah, and you had an attitude when I came up here. I was able to melt that down. And you're a man. You know, that's what I like about Back East. There's men out here. Praise the Lord, Saints. <laughs> this right, is 107.5 WBLS, baby. We have been talking online. Uh, and if you join me online, you'll get so much more than what you might be able to hear right now. So go to WBLS.com. Yes. And click on the Quiet Storm page. Two. Or go to LennyGreen.com. And you'll see us boom, right there. Right there. And you'll see who I'm talking with tonight. I'm talking with this beautiful, sexy lady who just decided to, um, and this is her trademark, her hair is cut real short, just in case you can't get to a computer. Real (laughs) short. And she's blonde. And uh, she's beautiful. Blonde and beautiful. Thank you. The two big Bees, blind and beautiful. I, sure. I, I'll have four bees in, in, that I'm striving for in my future. Oh, you will. Four bees, yeah. Buses, bus stops, billboards, and buildings. Go ahead, I baby. want my face on all. all I know that's them. right. Well, you know, you're, you're not too far from that. Lunell is her name, and she's with us tonight. And I know you're coming uh, to New York to do a big comedy show, I understand, at the theater at Madison Square Garden. I'm very, very blessed. I don't even know exactly how that happened. You're the only woman I heard. I am. On this ticket. Yes. The only woman. Right. And I like it like that. (laughs) I don't have any problem working with my sisters. I just, I like men, you know, so (laughs) shoot me. But uh, We're not going to shoot you. We're going to love you. No, don't don't shoot me. You can poke me. Whoa, 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 whoa. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) yes, a wonderful line. I'm Tracy Morgan uh, is the host of the uh, April Fool's Day comedy show at the theater at Madison Square Garden. I think we have, you know, uh, your native here, Capone, my boy. Yeah, she does. And then um, uh, J.B. Smooth is on it as well. Uh, I, so many uh, so many others, like maybe five other comedians. Some, A couple I'm not familiar with, but I know that they're heaters because they're on the bill. And I'm going to be, you know, just as glamorous and just as forthright as I possibly, possibly can be. And look, for those of you who saw Steve Harvey's Think Like a Man, um, you, we didn't see enough of you in, in that movie. That was a cameo. That was a cameo. At picnic. But, but hopefully we'll see more of you in forthcoming. They are uh, shooting a sequel. They are. Yeah, and I've been promised a larger role in that one. We'll see if they keep their promise. You know, unlike a lot of uh, actors in Hollywood, you, uh, I just had Faison Love up here, you guys have Based been doing on, very, very lo- a, a lot of love uh, in movies. You've had your in Taken Two. We, we gave a little laundry list of the many film shows that you have done. Not to mention, you know, the, the stand-up comedy things that you've done. I know you're part of Snoop Dogg's uh, Bad Girls, Girls Comedy. comedy yeah. yeah, shout so, out to Snoop Lion. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Darling. I know that's right. So, I mean, you you've got to be counting your blessings at this stage of the game. I do. Um, I have been fortunate enough to uh, get on the um, what do you call it get on the uh, the 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 eyesight of you know white directorial America has nothing to do with um, uh, not being in African American films I sat for many many years crying in my pillow wishing that I could have been in a house party wishing that I could have been in and and all those black movies and the you know the waiting to exhales and the and the your know, school days and stuff like that and all those good black movies and I never got a chance to uh, nobody ever called me for any of those and I just sat and I wished and I hoped and I wished and I was in San yeah baby that's right there yes. <laughs> but you and know what I was in San Francisco and a friend of mine couldn't go to an audition and asked their agent if I could go and it never happens like this and the agent said yeah I just gotta send somebody send send your friend and that was for so I married an axe murderer 
and I went to the audition, and I got it. That was my first movie, Mike Myers, before he did any Austin Powers movies. That was but, movie. Lunell, you know what? Everyone has a season. And maybe you weren't in those movies for a particular time, but you're definitely in the roles, and you're in the right season you need to be in right now. So yeah, it's I your wish moment, my baby. season had to happen 20 years ago, <laughs> uh, a little thinner, a little younger. No, I understand, but, but you know what? Uh, you know, it's all in God's Everything time. Happens, exactly. Yeah. Everything yeah. happens in God's time, and I'm happy that you are are here with us, and, and we're enjoying too. the essence of what you bring. That old sexy music, Lord have mercy. Well, this is what we do inside I, the choir. I, I need, we need a lot of incense up in there. Where's the lava lamp? Well, I got, no, no, you're taking. You're going back to the 70s. I got the candle burning tonight, baby. Where's that? Yeah. Oh, I smell it. If you'd like to speak to Linnell up close and personal, yeah, 212-545-1075. This is heaven tonight, baby. We have... Uh, a very beautiful queen of comedy with us tonight. I'm Look falling now. in love right here on the air. Oh, watch out now. Be careful. Uh-huh. 107.5 WBLS. Uh, <laughs> 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 and lie to Cam, doing that radio voice. Watch out. Baby. Ooh, what was that hot number? What's the hot number to call in? I'm going to call you in sometime. Are oh, you going to call me? I'm going to call you, you know from me, like California. You can listen to me. Yeah, on the um, online. 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 Can I listen and like call you? Call you? Yeah, almost that. But, would, but you, you probably, would you well, put me through? I would love to, and I would love to uh, do it when we, especially every night at ten o'clock, we do a thing called Confessions of Love, which talks about love, sex, or relationships. That's seven o'clock in California time, right? Ten. Not, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's Confessions girl, of love. Confessions of love. And what does that consist of? We throw out a question every night. And we engage in conversation. So, am I talking too much? Let no, me no, 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 no. Okay, because the nice thing about it, it, those who are watching us online are getting the continuation, um, and appreciate that. My ears got hot, so I pulled off the thing. Oh well, if you I get continue hot to, easy. do you really? <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's good to know. That's FYI. I appreciate that in a great way. But you can turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> and and listen to me as often as you like, because it's hard having a radio station in California. But what I need you to do is to listen to me whenever you can. And I would love to get your thoughts and feedback, because something tells me you've been through a few relationships in your life. You can like text me and say, Linnell, can you call in at such and such a time? You know what? You know? We're going to exchange we'll have that to information. Phone <laughs> Watch out! What? <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I don't. I can't afford bodyguards. And something tells me that you have a lot of men. And I don't want to be the man who those other cats may be watching right now who are jealous. And then they come after me and I don't have a bodyguard with me. Please. You got me. Oh, <laughs> So you tell now, me you, could, you, you control your men? Is that how you tell No, 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 no. First of all, I don't know how to get. There's only one or two people out there who could possibly get jealous of this situation right and here. Who's those one or two? I, they... <laughs> You know they're out there, <laughs> and um, I, but I just don't. I don't deal right with now. that. I don't deal with that. That's not my. You know, if you're jealous, that's your issue and your that, problem. Right. And you should go somewhere and deal with that. But <laughs> isn't isn't a little bit of jealousy in a relationship healthy? Yes. So you're a jealous woman as well. Yes. And and you're she's also a woman who will look at. Well, I should ask if if your man's phone rings. Yes. And no, no matter what time of the day, you're going to find out who it is. Well, you know, I really don't have. I was just talking trash when I did that to you earlier. I really don't have time. Like, like Sweet Brown said, ain't nobody got time for that. I hear that. I'm a grown woman. You know, if I was 17, I'd be checking your phone every five minutes to see what it was. But now, if your phone rings and you, you know, doing that, uh, Joe, yeah, Joe, uh, yeah, sure, I'll meet you at the bowling alley, Joe. You know, and you're acting all suspicious and weird. The yeah, we're go probably going to have. I'm probably going to have to get involved in that. You know, wow. like let's call Joe. I got Matter of fact, I think I want to bowl tonight too. Let's all go bowling with Joe. Oh, oh, like that, huh? Yeah, I, I hear that. Uh huh. I, I have no problem with that, baby. Yeah, no, no I'm problem. getting in the car and let's let's go meet Joe. And there better be a Joe. Yeah. So our question tonight coming up at ten o'clock, just to kind of scratch the surface a little bit on what we're doing. It, rub it. Yeah, no, we, whatever we, you want to do. Rub so. it down. Flip it. Can we oh, flip no. it? Okay, okay. Um, is it possible to go after both paths, career and love, at the same time? Sounds like What's you're in the, you're, in that, got to do. You see what I'm saying? Got yeah. to do it. Sounds like you. I mean, the, is it possible to go after it? After. 
Can, can, can you have both? Can you have a career and can you have a, a, a sure healthy love can. life? Sure you can. Sure you can. You can? Yeah, you can. With an understanding person. Absolutely. Yeah. But chances are we never meet that person initially. Well, I think it's like this. This is why I used to always wonder, why do athletes and models and why do they, they ever come back to the hood and get a sister? You, you really are going to meet who you're exposed to, you know? Musicians are going to meet singers. You know, actors are going to meet actresses. Models are going to meet athletes, you know, blah, 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 blah. blah. You're going to meet who you're exposed to. And you need to have somebody in whatever field you're in, not necessarily like another DJ, you know, for you. But maybe you have a chick who works uh, on set doing lighting or she's a grip. Or maybe somebody who understands the demands of your business and your time and your this and your that. now, Now, you've been in the comedy industry for a while, in the film industry. Do you find it easier when you're dating with, you know, with people that are familiar with their industry or in your industry as opposed to somebody who is unfamiliar? Actually, the, 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 the person that I was in, in, involved with the longest was in radio. No joke. What, what, what was his name? Is in radio. Oh, oh. Am involved with Oh, 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 oh. You care to share? You care to share? Huh? Care to share? Oh, God, one expo- I don't know if this. You don't even remember? Huh? No, no, no. I mean, it's like current. Oh, really? Oh, well. Don't be jealous, boo. No, no. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm not There's jealous at all. At I'm not end. jealous. There's room no. at the end. I got no, 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 I no, got no, all no. this No, no, no. No, that's all right. See you. No, here's the deal. Um, I would never date a comedian. Why? Because we're very, very selfish. It's all about me. Really? And we're, yeah, when you're a comic, it's not about the band. Or, you know, the cast. It's a cast of one. It's a band of one. And it's all about what we need and our needs. And I don't, you know, it's, it's too selfish. Plus, we we play dirty. If, if, if you're my man, even if you're not a comic, mm. if you're my man and you treat me wonderful, eventually I'm going to be on stage talking about how good my man is. Mm. If you're my man you treat me like crap, I'm going to go on stage and talk about that. <laughs> You know, so it's all about the way you want to be portrayed. Hey, if you were married, if, if you were dating a sculptor, you would get some clay on you sometime, right? If you're dating a painter, you're gonna get some paint. I don't on know you. about that, but well, no, so I wait, know wait, about so wait, that. hold on. So you bring you you telling me you bring what's happening in your real life to stage? Yeah, but that's that's what makes me so amenable to my audience because I don't make up too much stuff. I don't know how to lie well. I never was a good liar, and I I don't know how to make up like a scenario too much. I take things that happen in my real life because it's easier for me to remember. I used to be a raging alcoholic, so the easiest thing for me to remember is what's true. <laughs> and so I take things that happen to me because nine times out of ten what has happened to me has happened, to, happened somebody. to somebody else. No question. You know, and that's what makes I have like a serious fan problem. People don't just talk to me, oh, I like your work, now. People want to hug me and they want to kiss me and they want to hold me in the street because they feel like I'm their cousin or their aunt or their sister. And, I mean, it really has, like, been detrimental to my health because I'm a very delicate flower and I'm sensitive to cheap perfume. But she's, and but she's a wildflower. I'm flower, sensitive she's to, a wildflower. I'm a wildflower. You're a wildflower. I'm a delicate wildflower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sensitive to certain perfumes and colognes and somebody might hug me and two hours later I'm swollen up and have to go to the hospital. So it's a, it's a, it's a dance to... Be able to embrace somebody but not have them on you because the minute you do like this, they feel slighted. Objection, sure. I mean, I remember taking a picture with Halle Berry years ago, and I went like this, and she kind of went like that and, like, pushed me away a little bit. Uh-huh. Well, this is 20 years later, and I still remember <laughs> that. Sure remember hurt that hurt me to the quick. You do it to oh, my core. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I, I don't want to really do that to my fan, but I have to. Sometimes I don't take pictures with cigarette smokers. Really? I don't. I, I don't like to. I spend way too much money on my perfume for you to hug me, and now I smell like you. And she smells delicious. Tonight. I taste good. Okay. Too. All right. She tastes good too. Okay. All right. All right. Well, her name is Lunell. L U E N E L L. Lunell. I like the way you say my Dude, name. Really? Too. Really? Imagine if it was dark. I, mean, I got a crush on you. No, no, no. I'm no. just saying. No, no, no. Well, let me say. First of all, you have a radio. This is quiet storm. You have a radio if you out there, boo boo, <laughs> let it be known. I'm all up over your man, all right now. I'm all over this right here tonight. And if I get a half a chance, I got a room that's not far from here, and I'm flying out at 5 a.m. And if I can make it happen, it's happening. So there it is. Now, run and tell that, Miss Quiet Storm. <laughs> 
I said it. Now, I done put it out there. Hold on, hold on. I like you. Remember in school, I like you. Do you like me? Check yes or no. Anybody got time to be fooling around? I'm leaving in a couple hours. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, so, so after you get a certain age, the 90-day rule is out the window? 90 days? Y'all live in the town where Twin Towers have it. Ain't nobody got 90 days. In 90 days? You can get married and get pregnant in 90 days. I can't. I'm oh. I'm done with all of that. Oh. But I mean, the average girl. I I no, I don't I don't believe. I mean, you know, some people, okay, if you're young and you're trying to, you know, take your time, I believe in that if that's what suits you. Me, I'm just an old broad trying to get it in. But you know, like I say in my act, I got about 45 or 55 <laughs> Good sexual encounters left in me, and then I'm through. I'm tired. That's it? About 45 or 55 good ones left. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, you could change my mind. No, no, no. no. You, already, you already settled on <laughs> what I, number I you settled on, man. You already settled. No, 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 no. First of all, first of all, you already have a radio love. We don't know who that radio guy is, but I we already say, have a radio love, so, I, you know. I don't want to break the oath of the radio world, you know what I'm saying, and and be that the other one. The Let other me man, break you know it. Mean? Mm. No, 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 mm. no. I wouldn't want to put you in that position because you know why. What position I... would you like to put me in? <laughs> anyway, look, this is Lunell. Lunell is with us tonight, and uh, you can catch her at the April Fools Comedy Show. The only woman on the ticket. <laughs> Easy, you're gonna have to tip Easy. me on that one. <laughs> Easy. Are you tickling? I'm, I'm not. not I'm, to not, I'm not going to answer that. But she's the only woman you. on the ticket at the April Fool's comedy show at Madison Square Garden, the theater at Madison Square Garden, mm. which is April 1st. Yes. Right? Which is Monday, right. for those of you who are watching. You smell good, too. I took a bath today. Right. I knew you were Lord. coming. That's why. I didn't well, know you I'm smelled glad good. You, well, I, I always you, smell and good. And you're right. You know, we're, we're creatures. I mean, of, it's late at night and you smell good. Well, you know, I'm I'm pretty good at my. I'm hygiene. not even talking in a microphone anymore. I'm not even on the show. No, no, no you definitely. Let, let but I make it. Yeah, put it in. God, <laughs> <laughs> got, got it in there. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. No, I was just fixing it for you. Fix it for me, baby. We can we can we can get you know get a good shot. <laughs> for me, I want a good shot. <laughs> I can really use a good shot right now. <laughs> anyway, look, Linnell, Linnell, Linnell. I love you, baby, and I thank you. She came in extra early tonight. He was mad. I was like, not mad. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey, you, what are you early? I guess we'll just record it. <laughs> oh, you ain't recording nothing. I'm going on live. I'm going to hang out. Give me some ice. What's up? Mm-mm. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, had an attitude, but you don't have an attitude anymore. I'm do you, smiling. I'm smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> You're making everything drop on me. Drop you know? your battery pack, baby. <laughs> anyway, look, make sure that you join this lady. If you've never seen her in, in performance, it definitely. This ain't nothing. Wait till Monday night. I can only imagine. I'm going to make them brothers work hard because I'm going to give it to you. I know, I know. And you bring it, you bring it don't I you? I do. I, I pray, you know, you. The thing is, the, the the best thing, the best thing that I have found for me mm. is just don't get cocky. You know, I'm talking that trash right now. It's only through the grace of God that I am able to go out here, hopefully, and do my job the way that I know that I can do it. That's it. Because the minute you say, "Watch this," I'm about to go blaze and say, "The minute you get cocky like that, something happens. Yeah, yeah. Something go wrong. You might blank, fall down, anything. Too, you know, feeling come out on say anything." Right. So I don't want to ever be like that. I don't want to be so cocky. But I do believe in my soul that I'm the baddest chick in the game. Yeah. I do believe in the soul that I'm underrated and underpaid. I do believe in my soul that the day will come where, you know, I uh, I represent the underdogs in this life. I'm going to rise up and, you know, and 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 I'm going to have my, my day in the sun. And I think that if I just keep working, you know, I have a daughter that I got to get out of high school mm-hmm. that wants to go to college. <laughs> I can't even say it out loud. She wants to go to college. College, college university. Yes. <laughs> and who knew? You know, she was a dancer. I she... thought she was going to go dance. I just talked to Chris Brown. I said, take my daughter on the road. She's a dancer. She want to go to college. It happens since the hour, but, you know, that's, that's going to be like thing, 30 racks a, a, a semester. But so you're I, making I that, that channel. Look at me. Look, you're blinging all over the place. Baby, I'm not making thir- thir- 30 racks to throw, throw, throw towards her. I mean, this this lifestyle, this look, these... You know, this you know, it's a cost to maintain. I mean, Tamar lady. is not the only girl out here blinking. I know, that's right. She oh, yeah. blinks, too. Yes, you know? she does. Yes, she does. Mm-hmm. 
but you bling in a different way. I have a caller. Oh. Hey, where's the mom? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, look, look. This is what we're going to do. We're going to come back in just a moment. We're going to chop it up with Lunell. I want you to stay right there where you are. Okay. Uh, this is the quiet storm. <laughs> this is the quiet storm on 107.5 okay. WBLS, yeah. baby. I'm in trouble. Wow. You can be. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Uh, what's happening? Can you uh, what, what's happening? Can you handle it? Wipe, 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 wipe that steam off your little player. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Am I plugged? Up I WBLS, hello. Oh. Hello, hello. Life? Life Jennings? No. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Hello? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. No, you call back. That's what yes, you hello? do. Oh, hello. Hey, how are you, yes, man? Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Hi. We can hear your life. You can, you can hear me? I can hear you, man. Oh, how, how you doing, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you, favorite? I know that's right. Well, you know I'm sitting next to a beautiful lady tonight. Uh, yes, I heard on the radio she sounds very beautiful. She, she, she is beautiful. She's everything in what she sounds like. Say hello to Lunel, all right? Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Uh, hey, that's what's up. Why, why did his voice drop a little, little, little lower? He's, are you trying to get your sexy on with Lunell like that, man? Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm that, 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 that's just, that's just me. I'm just, you know. He's all, he's, for, uh, he's all for Clem, too. You hear him stuttering and carrying on? <laughs> Baby, it's nah, okay. It's <laughs> all right, sugar. <laughs> so... Nah. You've seen her, obviously. You've seen her at work, whether it was in the movies or whether it was uh, on stand-up. Uh, what do you love about this lady so much? Everything. Well, there it is. <laughs> He's a man of few words. Uh, very few, one might say. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a man of many words. Okay, well, this is radio, and we really like it when the caller talks, and then we talk back to you. Then you say something else, we say something else back. So 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 what 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 um um next like 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 next adventures you gonna be in like for comedy or entertainment? Well, I'm doing a show here on Monday night at Madison Square Garden. Do you know where Madison Square Garden is? Yes, ma'am. Um, it's not the big big one. It's the theater. The theater connected to the garden. Well, that's okay though. Yeah, it's like five thousand seats or something yeah. like mm -hmm. that. I think. And so I'm I'm here I'm here in your town right now. Where you at, baby? What borough? I'm in Brooklyn. It's the biggest BK, bubble. BK, baby. She, you know, she's right. been she's been to Brooklyn maybe one time. <laughs> so she 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 wants to be. Oh, I'm sorry. I love Brooklyn. I just love. I just love. I love the whole East Coast, and and I love exactly. I love everything about New York. The grimy, gritty. I love it. You I love do. Because if you can right. make it here, you make, make it, it anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. That's what's up, likewise. Well, brother, we thank you for calling in, man. I'm glad you had this opportunity. Yeah, you were thrilling hello. to talk to. <laughs> hey, brother, have a good weekend, man. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. All right. Uh, then, on, on what day would you be at Madison Square Garden? What? Monday. What day would you be at Madison Square Garden? Oh, yeah, Monday Monday night. April Fool's, baby. Well, what time? What time is the show? Uh, I believe it's probably 8 o'clock. Um, how much is tickets? Hey, Listen, hey, I don't hey, work hey, for Ticketmaster, hey, Playboy. You brother, know. go online, man, and just uh, I don't Google have it. Computer, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Right, then you need to call Ticketmaster. I don't, Ticket I don't even believe in that. That's my, like my grandma said. That's like TV. That's like the idiot box. Okay. I'm okay. going to books. Right in okay, but I'm going to take your rotary phone <laughs> and call the box office to the the garden, and they'll tell you how much the tickets are, baby, and I would love to see you there. Okay, Definitely. Okay, thank you. Tell your mom and your grandma and them I said, what's up? Okay, thank you. <laughs> later, okay. Bro, later. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Woo! I think he might still live with them. Abby <laughs> picks up his face, yeah, that you, you, put, you yo, slammed his face to the ground. And called him. Well, my, my, my mama just said, that's the devil. I ain't got no computer. <laughs> okay, well, it's only 2013. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all it is. That's all. For real, for real. Yeah. Don't nobody else want to call me? I'm hurt. I'm here because of live phone calls. I love to take live phone I know calls. You, Don't nobody want to call. Why. They're scared. They're sitting home. Well, you know what? They might be burning a candle themselves. Or taking a bubble bath. Or taking a... 
I love bubble bath. I'm a bath girl. You know they say. You know what they say about women who take baths? What? They're very romantic. You know, I just believe this, and I want you to just not don't read too much into this. It's just a fact. I just believe the genitalia should go underwater. I just well, you believe know what? that. Uh, speaking you know, of- everything doesn't. The shower just don't. It don't. Especially if you don't have a shower massage and can take the nozzle and stuff. I just believe the genitalia should go underwater at least twice a week. I mean, if you want me to be involved with you, I need to know you've been underwater. Feel me? Well, at least you know it's clean, right? That's what I'm saying. I know it's right. Well, you know. Do you I, like bubble baths? <laughs> you know what? Uh, my doctor says that men should take bubble baths. Your doctor's absolutely right. I haven't taken a bath. You have to understand something. Uh, when I was you growing have, up. You haven't had a bath since when? No, no, no. no you ain't I mean, had nobody wash Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, when, when I was growing up, my mama used to have these uh, baths that she was <laughs> that we had to take. Right, this bath. Huh? Oh, what is that? No. Oh, okay. And um, <laughs> they were so hot that they burned yes. the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm not trying to uh, do too many bubble baths that burn. Oh the no, shit no, no, no! You just have to have the right temperature, and you have the right right foundation. Mm-hmm. What, what would be the foundation? Well, I, I, I ran a bath for my my ex husband. Mm. The first, like, intimate day we had, I ran a bath for him, and he put a ring on it. Just saying. Come on. Stop, stop. You better stop it. I'm just saying. Like that. Yep. Because, <laughs> you know, how many women are still doing that these days? Women these don't. women don't know how to take care of no They men. don't know how to romance They don't know how to take care of men. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, that I'm going to run your bath every night. Right. Uh, look right. where I that got you. old girl on. <laughs> look what I got old, 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 what's her name on? What's her? Katie the old man, and he let me go to Las Vegas. And you slapped her with that old divorce thing the other day. In a heartbeat. So I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm going to run your bath water every night, but when you least expect it, you're going to come home and I'm going to have some bath around for you, have some wine sitting by the tub, and, you know, wash your back. Then I'm going to leave you alone. And wash your nuts. And, oh, can I say that? <laughs> I mean, are we on the which, which we're, camera's on? We're I mean, online. We're on? online. Okay. We're online. So wash your nuts and right. raise them up and get them back there and wash your taint. Mm. Wash then, your taint? Yeah, your taint. And uh, I can show you better than I can tell you. No, no okay, okay. We're going to go back online, look, uh, on air. On or so, uh, Look, thank you for watching tonight. This is what you get when you watch online, though. The, I'm the gonna rare, need a copy. I'm gonna need a link. The rare exclusive stuff. But yeah. Linnell, I just want to thank you for the folks who are watching online. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, my this. You know how babies do. Like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Hey now. Hey now, baby. Oh, it's one hundred seven point five WBLS. I'm not going to Philly. I'm not going. This I'm not leaving. This is the quiet storm coming up. Play at, this at uh, home. That's what I want to know. Do I play? like when you want to set the mood? At your, do you play stuff like this at the house? I'm a romantic. Hot diggity. Okay, you yeah, know what? I, I I like to romance. Okay, I love you. You love me. I'm in love with you. Really? And I want to be your girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know. If no, that's I ain't got a lot of time. No, no. First of all, hold on, hold on. You already got a man. So we can't go there, but we can have not a in New York. I don't. <laughs> Yo, she is gangster. Her name is Lunell. Just in case you uh, are just joining us tonight, uh, we should tell everyone that you will be joining everyone here in New York City um, on Monday. I will, and I'm thrilled to pieces. First of all, to have play to play an iconic place like Madison Square Garden and just be a girl from Arkansas who was right. raised up in Oakland, California. This is huge for me. Yeah. It's one of the this biggest first nights for me. Yes. Yeah. I played Radio City Music Hall when I came here on tour with a little guy named Cat Williams. A we little played, guy. We played named with a little, little, little comedian named Cat a little striving comedian named Cat Williams. We came here and set it on fire at Radio City Music Hall. I wept that night. Now let's talk about Cat Williams real quick. Let's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's my, just there, just know some... this. He's my baby. He's my friend. We've been friends for probably sixteen years. He's off the road. He's doing fine. And if anybody is counting him out, you have miscounted. Really? I'm just gonna say that. Like that. Yeah, like that. Linnell, uh, I I thank you, Barry. 
I thank you for coming by and and, and Is I'm it great. over? <laughs> well, no, uh, uh, no, no, no. You have to go home. I know. I ain't going home. But you know, we're going to move into the second phase. Very, okay. Very soon. What do we do then? Well, here's Does what that I want. Not include me. Here's what I want to know. I'm I not want, getting want, off the air. I want, here's what I want to know. <laughs> you put me out. I'm that chick. You got to put me out. Is it possible to go after both paths in life, a, a career path and a love path, at the same time? Can 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 you have a healthy career and can you have a healthy love uh, path at the same time? Yes, with the right person. Yes, with somebody who is not trying to dominate your time, somebody who has a life. I think the most important thing is have a mate or somebody that you're interested in or who's interested in you who has a life of their own. If they don't have a life of their own, that's when they're trying to always get, oh, what time are you coming home? What do you mean you got to work again? What do you mean you got to go on tour? What do you mean you got to go on the road? <laughs> but if they're as busy they're as well, thing, right. then you're fighting to get together. And when you get together, it's money. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If, if you have somebody who has a life of their own, and you're busy as well, then your your whole thing is like, I can't wait till this is over so I can get back to my boo. You know, and, and instead of somebody sitting home, watching reality TV, looking at the watch, wondering where you at and what you're doing, stalking you, blowing up your phone, you know, that's that's not going to work. You can catch this lady Monday night. She'll be at the theater in Madison Square Garden, and that's going to be a wonderful thing. Temptation. That's the Tyler Perry new movie. That's coming out yeah, tomorrow. It looks good. I want to send somebody to uh, check it out on us. Okay. So, uh, call me up, 212-545-1075, and, uh, and get my passes tonight. Look yeah, out. don't say nothing out of order because I'm listening. <laughs> it's this is my man, baby. at least for the night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, look, I just want to thank you guys for watching us online tonight as long as you have. It's been a joy to be with this particular lady. It's been a real, real joy. Thank you so much for... Uh-oh. <laughs> I was just smelling you. Smelling me? I mean, my, my skin smells good, though. It smells fantastic. Fantastic. Well, that's a good thing, right? It's a beautiful thing. But I don't know if your man is going to appreciate you. Smelling. Why you keep bringing him up? Because you don't want... <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I'd have never seen BNC. People say be honest, you be honest, and they want to throw it up in your face. Well, you know what? I appreciate that because I don't need no bullets at me. I don't want no oh guy coming from the state radio station me telling, telling me, hey, look, you've been close to you're my woman. Blah, 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 like blah. A, you're <laughs> ruining my mood. Huh? Yeah. I mean, he's you know, he's ruining my mood. It's all about you and me right now. Right this second. Right this second. I hope a Google, is this, this is what I need to know. Is this going to be on Google Alert? <laughs> Because it's gonna be everywhere. Get it's gonna be alert. everywhere. He does get the Google alert. He does get the Google alert. Oh Jesus Christ, Lord have mercy. I might be moving to New York. <laughs> I'm gonna need a place. Here she comes, stay. New York. Watch out. In New I'm York. <laughs> Lord have mercy. How can, how can everyone follow you? Keep up with Okay, you? so on Instagram is where I live my life. Stop lying. You can follow me. Can I get a follow? You can. Absolutely. I'll back. follow you tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Where you want to follow? To the house. <laughs> <laughs> at Lunell. At L-U-E-N-E-L-L. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. At Lunell. At L-U-E-N-E-L-L. Do not try to be my Facebook friend. I've been maxed out for two years. I don't know how to fix it. I got a fan page. I got like f- over, f- I got 5,000, and I got like 25,000 pending. <laughs> so I got to fix that. I promise you, Facebook. Well, you got to start a fan page up. That's well, a- I did. I got a fan page. It's blowed up, too. Well, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, but I don't want the people out there just, 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 just pending. I want to <laughs> give them satisfaction. <laughs> I'm here to please. Oh, you're I like to satisfy. Is that what you do? Yeah. What's your sign? You said you're a Pisces. Pisces. One fish going Slippery this way. Slippery when wet. That's my sign. <laughs> uh, slow around dangerous curves. That's my sign. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, one fish is going this way, the other fish is going that way. I have yeah. to read up on Pisces. I don't I'm, know what you're talking about. I go both ways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. This has been on an that unusual, note. An unusual Thursday, and I appreciate you, my love, Uh, in such a great way. And this is only the beginning.
I wouldn't many more oh, encounters. Man, I haven't so mad in so long. Oh, my God. Here's the full Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much. I'll give this your back. Your back feels strong. It, 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 can, it can handle a lot. <laughs> I have back problems, but I think I just need to be stressed out. You know, I fell down today. Really? Yeah, and I hurt myself, you know, but I think if I'm stretched out, like if my legs was over my head, I think I could stretch out and I'd feel so much better. You know, I wish I took that final class in, in therapy. No, I can show you what you do. Like, if you stretch my legs this way. That way. Uh, yeah. This way? Stretch yeah, your legs like that. Way. Yes. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Stretch your legs that way, not your hands That's that not getting it? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> I told that no, it's maybe. just too late. No, no forget it. Damn! Blink. <laughs> Beyond our wedding invitations. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>